It's your boy Nirgun in the house back with another bang on video again. I've got a new uh, new video wherein I'll speak about more and more about the countdown to the North London Derby. Well, it's going to be a biggest build up, the biggest competition for an Arsenal fan because obviously even uh, we have seen, I think yesterday or day before yesterday, I put up in my video that the biggest rivalry uh, for Arsenal, the biggest contenders or opponents are not, uh, Tottenham. Uh, well, that is based on a poll made by the fans. They, are, they everyone agrees to the fact that Arsenal cannot stand Tottenham at all. Not because uh, they are trying to, you know, rise above, or probably they are uh, the kings of London, which they are not, which they never will be. But uh, it's because it's it, it's 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 about winning. It's about having a history. It's about uh, you know. Uh, properly supporting a club because I don't consider Tottenham fans being uh, being the right amount, right type of supporters for any club because uh, we all know what's uh, uh, everything is all about about Tottenham well let's talk about let's talk about let's talk about uh, one serious issue well uh, before that before that before starting the video let me remind you guys that uh, tomorrow well tomorrow is Friday tomorrow is the roast of the week wherein, wherein you guys have selected you know a great topic uh, on the week on the eve of the North London derby you guys have selected Tottenham Hotspur fans to be roasted this weekend and it's really really uh, I'll be feeling very proud to destroy them most probably I'll be coming up with something really special let's see if that if uh, that's gonna happen or not but make no mistake I think we'll, we'll definitely try to rip apart each and every uh, aspect of uh, uh, fiber of respect that they believe that they have in themselves about their team well not only this let's talk about let's talk about the first news of the day and if you still haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon so you get notifications whenever we post a video on youtube and be a part of this community which is uh, trying uh, you know itself to become a biggest community for all the Arsenal fans to join in and uh, make their presence felt via commenting and definitely sharing the videos with your friends well without any further ado the first news of the day for the first time since 2010 world cup no Arsenal players will uh, have been selected or are not in the England squad for any international duties for the first time ever. Please uh, see the image uh, which I am showing you right now. Yes, you will not find any Arsenal player in that for the first time since 2010 World Cup and I think... I think yes, there is a decline of English uh, players and English uh, proper amount of talent to represent England obviously that has happened and since the only reason why Rob Holding is injured I think uh, yeah we 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 don't produce the uh, right amount of players but uh, that, that, that's always has, has been a worry well uh, uh, we can uh, argue to this fact that yes we have Ainsley Maitland Niles we could have had uh, a lot lot of other players as well but we know that our special talents our academy graduates have not been so great uh, in terms of representing the nation as far as the other uh, big six and the other normal other teams in the league are, are concerned in this aspect of uh, representing England no Arsenal have not been doing that uh, great in the recent years but another uh, where you see uh, where you hear sad news like these it's actually good in terms of your players stick to the, uh, your uh, main club so but one biggest news of the day Bayard Leno has been selected in the Germany squad well yes you can see the image below Uh, it's in German, yes, but uh, you can see the third, uh, the, the third keeper after Neuer and uh, Mark andre Ter Stegen of Barcelona. You find an Arsenal goalkeeper, Bad Leno. Well, I'm really proud of Bad Leno. He's done really great. I know uh, what kind of a, uh, uh, I mean, the, the goalkeeper he has been is the greatest amount of talent. I think a coup at around 20 million that we've got. A great talent uh, coming to Arsenal. Uh, the most underrated player to come to Arsenal. A good underrated signing of the last season well not only this let's talk about let's talk about uh, Mohammed El Neni let's talk about some dead weights one good news and one really bad news for you guys El Neni well he is a target for Bechiktas the Turkish Bechiktas uh, who have been uh, qualified uh, and, and are in the same pot uh, as us in the Europa League this season uh, well Bechiktas want El Neni on loan and they're ready to pay all of his uh, wages well it's really great to see that uh, you know uh, I just hope that becomes permanent or he plays some good amount of football so that he improves his worth and probably becomes more valuable for Arsenal. He's got I think three years left in his contract with Arsenal so he's not in a hurry to get away. He'll get his wages either from Arsenal or some other club. 
but if he wants more and more minutes and if he wants to represent Egypt internationally then yes uh, he needs to get more and more minutes which he which him and his father or his agent I, I don't, I don't uh, remember if his father is his agent or not but I think his father had spoken on behalf of him uh, uh, they would definitely want him to get more and more minutes and definitely now at Arsenal he's not he's not going to get that anymore well Talking about the good news of the dead weight, let's talk about the bad news. Uh, according, uh, you know, the dead weight that Arsenal are trying to lose. Well, United are in, uh, <laughs> you know, forefront of uh, giving Chris Smalling another chance in their career by giving him on loan or sending him on loan to Roma. IS Roma want Chris Smalling on loan, a mere three million euros uh, fee that they'll pay uh, to loan out uh, Chris Smalling, which will end their pursuit of Skodran Mustafi yes this is really sad because I think uh, we were I think uh, he was being linked with some other club I think Zenit uh, were linked I think yesterday I have given you the news but Skodran Mustafi will not be fetched by Roma because Roma are in contention to sign Chris Smalling on loan from Manchester United sad news yes but I don't think I don't think so our uh, management is definitely going to sit quiet with that just small one news obviously we, we are going to have a lot lot to speak about well let's talk about let's talk about i told you guys we always uh, you know during the north london derby or any game uh, that we are going on the road to well we'll definitely try to speak more and more stats about it let's talk about the main stats uh, one of the biggest news that is coming your way is tottenham have lost Tunjai and Dombele. Yes, Tunjai and Dombele is set to miss the North London Derby because of a thigh injury. Tunjai and Dombele will not play against Arsenal and that is quite a relieving news. It's not that we did not have the firepower or we did not have the players to uh, play against Tottenham. We did. But when you see that one of their uh, major, major uh, important player who's actually contributed uh, some great amount of uh, midfield uh, genius in the recent games that they've played, well, if you see that that person is not playing in the North London derby, that actually makes this North London derby Arsenal's to lose because Arsenal, in any way, shape, or form, and in spirit, playing at the Emirates cannot lose this North London derby. As an Arsenal fan, I know that uh, even Tottenham Hotspur fans have actually given up on this fact that uh, they're going to win at the Emirates. But let's see what's going to happen if that's going to be the result, end result, or not, because we cannot take anything. Uh, for granted for now because the Premier League is always uncertain you never know what's gonna happen but for now Tanjay Ndombele is not going to represent for Tottenham in this North London derby and I am really stoked about it well talking about more and more news some good news about Leno let's talk about Nacho Monreal and the Real Sociedad problem the Real Sociedad have agreed mutual terms or personal terms with Nacho Monreal the biggest problem is which is arriving is Unai Emery. Unai Emery is reluctant to let uh, uh, Monreal go to sell Monreal before the North London derby. He believes that he wants solidarity and his only reason why is he wants Nacho Monreal to serve one important game, one last game uh, on his uh, position before the international break and help Arsenal to gain the, ex the most exquisite and most uh, important three points that are going to separate them and Tottenham for definitely at least uh, some, some of the games that is coming forward in the uh, uh, in the future uh, in their Premier League campaign because I think if this win can definitely separate the two teams much more and beyond not only them I think the third spot is definitely try, uh, try, uh, it would be permanent for at least uh, some a couple of games going forward but it will be a great boost to definitely take a bigger lead uh, from your rivals who can definitely come back out of nowhere so anything can happen actually uh, we can definitely not take Tottenham off for granted but let's go on let's go on with some biggest one I got I've got really biggest comparison for you guys we all know Manchester United uh, spent 45 million plus uh, for, to sign Aaron Van Bissaka from Crystal Palace and probably after uh, Aaron Van Bissaka came into Manchester United he improved that position the right back position for Manchester United and they are definitely trying to you know uh, bring in the subtlety and definitely the tackles that uh, Aaron Van Bissaka is known for the spider spider that's what he's called as I believe well let's compare him to Ainsley Maitland Niles yes a very devastating stat has come up They've paid 50 million for Anne Van Visaka, but Ainsley Mitlan Niles has actually ruled everything. Let's talk about it. Let's let's have a comparison between Ainsley Mitlan Niles and Anne Van Visaka. Tackles attempted Ainsley Midland Niles 2.7 per game and Aaron Van Bissaka has 5.3 Aaron Van Bissaka wins uh, fair and square in uh, tackles attempted followed by interceptions well interceptions Ainsley Midland Niles has made 1.7 interceptions per game 
compared to 1.3 of Ironman Bisaka. This is the stat where uh, Ironman Bisaka loses to Ainsley Midland Niles, followed by Ariel Duels 1. Ariel Duels 1 by Ainsley Midland Niles is 2.3 per game compared to Ironman Bisaka's 0.7 only. Well, Ainsley Midland Niles is leading the loose, yeah. Uh, being a defender, he's actually leading it. And I you not know, expected him to do that. But the next thing is big chances created. The, when you consider big chances created, Ainsley Midland Niles created the uh, best goal, uh, I think against Newcastle, he provided that assist. 0 0.3 compared to Aaron Nambisaka's zero big chances created. I think Ainsley Midland Niles wins it completely, but there's one more stats that's coming your way. Dribbles completed, Ainsley Midland Niles 3.7, Aaron Nambisaka only two. That means with a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a clear battle won by Aaron, uh, Ainsley Midland Niles and Aaron Nambisaka loses to Ainsley Midland Niles. So, Ainsley Midland Niles has really rejuvenated his career, definitely improved his. Uh, uh, chances uh, in that right back position improve uh, you know uh, his chances of making it into the Arsenal 11 by holding on to that right right back position he is definitely better than, better than the spider at least in the th uh, three games that uh, both the teams have played in their respective uh, against their respective opponents well there's one more bad news coming your way it's actually good in terms of the way everything has gone Alexander Lacazette has not been called for France De -de Deschamps uh, has not called uh, Alexandre Lacazette for their game against Albania and Andorra and France will miss his services and most probably the biggest reason that is being said is because I think uh, it's because of certain knocks and injuries the ankle issue that is being come up with so Lacazette has not been called for France which is uh, you know it, it received mixed reactions if you ask me it's really good because he can, he can concentrate more on the club football and we all know why we want him uh, you know and uh, at a particular juncture wherein we find ourselves in a bit of a toss in terms of his participation in the North London derby only Una Emery knows whether he's going to play or not but uh, not letting him uh, and there are certain fans uh, on the internet who have actually showed uh, uh, their concerns why Dede Deschamps has not selected Alexander Lacazette it's their problem I think uh, I think I would want Lacazette to Arsenal more now well not only this Una Emery has given an update on Mesut Ozil's uh, availability for the North London derby he has mentioned this week he is training well he is progressing physically better and doing normal work for us. He is going to be closer for us and available for uh, Sunday, I think. He thinks that uh, Mesut Ozil can be uh, available for the Sunday, but I also know that one fact that Mesut Ozil will not be rushed into the 11. He should not be rushed into the 11. And I believe, I believe, I think uh, uh, Tottenham are definitely going to give much more opportunities for us and I think we need to be at our attacking best. When we move, uh, uh, when you play a ga uh, game against Tottenham, I want to see Pepe, Obama, and Lacazette start. But if that's not going to happen, I don't know what's go what is going to happen. And let's see if everything goes well. We, we keep a clean sheet and win uh, by scoring more and more goals. Probably I expect a 3 0 victory or a 4 0 victory. I'll let you know in my uh, uh, pre match preview, uh, which is not going to be on a Friday, but a Saturday because the game is on Sunday and I do it one day prior to the game so make no mistake tomorrow's morning news maybe uh, will be about news only uh, all about arsenal but tomorrow's evening video will be the roast of the week and tottenham hotspur fans will be roasted make no mistake be a part of this channel be a part of this community by uh, subscribing to the channel and make no mistake uh, to the ones who have already subscribed please be uh, really really happy because tomorrow is friday and we are going to bash the tottenham hotspur fans not only because it's not london derby because they are our suspects they are the ones you got you guys have selected for the for the the roast of the week this week so uh, i'll take your leave and i'll definitely uh, come up with some great great amount of news because tomorrow we are going to get a much more deeper uh, uh, news about all the injuries that has been coming and i think i've got one 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 news wherein i think uh, Kieran Tierney will be joining the full training and so will be Hector Bayerin. Well, uh, the authenticity and everything, the official update, I'll be getting it uh, tomorrow for you guys. If Hector Bayerin and uh, uh, Kieran Tierney can return for us at least during the uh, the break, during the international break, it will be really boost in full training. If we see these two guys, we can definitely see them uh, on the pitch for us as well. That would complete uh, my video and that, that would definitely complete Arsenal's attack, isn't it? Well, we're missing those two players at the two important spots. Let's go on with the video tomorrow. I'll see you in the next video. And uh, make no mistake, uh, keep cheering, keep watching. And uh, all the best for whatever you guys are planning for in your future, in your real lives. I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.